Welcome to my channel, Jerrell Jones, where the X won the end. <clears throat> Hi guys, I thought I just almost broke my nail. I was about to be really, really, really mad, but... here that means that you care you care about what I'm about to talk about I am about to talk about my experience being gay in college versus high school or high school versus college however you want to get into it honey yes so I'm just gonna get right into it because I don't like wasting time I'd rather waste all the time talking you know um but basically I guess I'll just start with my experience with being gay in high school if you follow my channel if you subscribe you know I mean you know the story but in high school, I had six female best friends. It, it turned into being six female best friends throughout the time, throughout my time of being in high school. Let me get it together like I was actually there. Um, but basically, this is this is how I started off. Since, you know, this is about being gay, I figure why not use this as a microphone. JK, JK. But, um, <laughs> I'm really talking in it. Let me chill. I made it. Okay, so... Huh, high school, freshman year, super lost. Um, I was dressing like a rock star. I was dressing like an emo kid. I was dressing like um, Abercrombie's fitchest model, <laughs> if that made any sense. <laughs> um, I was just, I was doing what everybody else was doing in high school, which is what you're supposed to do in high school. Not really, but I guess that's what happened, shit. So, yes, yeah, so my freshman year, I just, it was me and my best friends. I went to all of their games. I was pretty much just a student my freshman year. They were all cheerleaders, so I would always go to their games. I would watch them cheer secretly. Oh, I wanted to be a little boy cheerleader, but you know, I just didn't have that many influences around me that said that that was okay to do and be you and, 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 and do you. So that's the first thing. In high school, you don't have that many people pushing you to express yourself and pushing you to do the things that you wouldn't normally do because you don't see people your gender or your color or your your race or gender uh, I said gender already you see what I'm getting at there's not that much representation you know you're not exposed to that many things in high school as you will be in college that's one thing is the things that you're exposed to like in high school you will you those of you who are in high school right now you worry like oh my god and uh, nobody's like me. Just wait till you get out in the real world, honey, and you you start to expose yourself to the things that you want to, or you start to be in situations and experiences and environments that are way different from home and your city and your little village that you live in, okay, your town, and you go elsewhere and you see how other people are living, honey, and you're exposed to their way of life, and you your eyes will be open and you will be like, well, maybe I'm not the weirdest motherfucker out here. Yeah, in high school, every there's not that much self-expression, I don't think. Everybody, like, a lot of schools have uniform. A lot of high schools don't have uniform, so don't get all hype if you don't have uniform. I had uniform. So, for my first two years, I didn't have uniform. Then my last two years, I had uniform in high school. They tried it. But um, everybody has to look the same. Everybody has to dress the same, whether you have uniform or not. Everybody's looking on Instagram. Everybody's looking at what everybody's doing on TV. Like, in high school, it's seriously, like, trendy. You know what I'm saying? So, being gay when the trends are for guys and girls like mask guys and femme girls it's just like where do you fit in i i'm like i'm me i'm in the middle it's so weird i'm literally in the middle with like the way i act dress and, and like come off and all of that so it's just like i really just didn't fit in but i fit in with these group of girls because mentally wise you know i'm raised by my mom got a big sister all of that like i relate with girls really 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 well really easily click especially like these like this group of girls like they were like my sisters for real so i i had I, I had friends in high school i can't say oh i didn't have friends like i had friends but i wasn't myself in high school like i had a whole girlfriend my junior senior year um we had sex once i ran track though so that kind of masked like no pun intended but that kind of masked you can say masculine or whatever but it kind of masked me a little bit because it just it gave somebody it gave people something to identify me with other than being the gay boy that says he's not gay it's like and that's the thing in in, in high school i got a lot of ridicule and like a lot of teasing and a lot of faggot gay this gay that a lot of people do under their breath because i was cool with a lot of people like i was still cool so it wasn't a big deal like i wasn't going home crying or anything but i would i did hate myself in a way i mean come on it just 
people people been talking about me all my life. So in high school, it chilled out. Before then, kids are mean as what. We're not going. We'll talk about that on another video. But just to kind of speed up the high school side. I just wasn't myself. I was completely not myself. I had no idea who I was. I had no idea who I could be, who I would be, who I was, and what I wasn't. Honestly, like I, I did. I was still telling myself that I wasn't even gay. Like what? And then turn around, I come to college, and literally weeks later, I start just becoming myself and being myself. Because this is what happens when you go from high school to college. When you go from high school to college, you realize that, oh my God, the whole world is not literally a two-mile radius outside of my high school. Even though you go places, you travel, literally living your every day to day, at this elementary school, to this, to this, everything, you live in your city. You don't live elsewhere. So when you move or if you choose to move and go out, whether it's graduating high school into college or graduating high school just into life, you will begin to, you then you, you can pick, you can pick. My university is a bit smaller university, so you have a more limited selection. But you pick the people that you hang around with and these people that you pick, they're not the people that you're in a homeroom with. They're not the people that necessarily, it's not your roommate, it's not your sweet mates. It could be somebody that you just bump into in a cafeteria. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's a bit more into reality into, as to where you can say, I chose the people around me. And hopefully you chose the right people that are going to push you to be you, be yourself, be a better you all the time, and really strive for greatness out here in these streets. So, in college, you one, you realize the world is bigger. Two, you realize that you can expose yourself to more things. So, more things become normal to you. You become desensitized. You thought that you putting on heels in your house was like the worst thing you could ever do. You thought your dad was going to beat you. You thought your mom was going to cuss you out. You thought your friends wasn't going to be your friends no more. You thought your sisters and brothers was going to fight you. And then you get to college and you see a couple boys pumping down the hallway in heels at a modeling show. you just like... Oh my God, this is regular. Everybody's cheering. Yes, 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 you better get it. Boys going down, death drops in full leotards, laces, and full beat faces. Like, come on, you you really realize that while there are people from other places, you meet people from New York, you'll meet people from Philly, you'll meet people from different big cities, LA. I've met people from, I've literally met people from every big city all the way down to every little village town, down to the small town that's around my school, I've met people. And hung out with them and learn something and experience things with them. So it kind of just broadens your horizons. It lets you know there's a whole world of people out here. There are people way weirder than me. Gay is not even halfway bad. Once you come to college, you be like, oh no, I'm a saint. I'm an angel. In high school, you be like, oh my God, I hate myself. I think the world is gonna end. Like, I'm such a weird person. I don't get, I don't understand what's going on in my body. I don't understand these feelings. Nobody's helping me. Only thing people are doing is telling me that this is wrong and I don't know how to stop it. I can't stop it. I've been trying to motherfucking stop it. But in college, people more so say, it's funny, but people, you kind of educate yourself. You learn about the world. You learn about you. And the biggest thing about college, people don't realize a lot of, like, paying all this bread, but we're paying for our life experience and we're really being able to grow into our own in a controlled environment. But that is still real enough in reality and has the same stresses that reality has because we've got all these classes and all this other stuff that we have to try to tend to. Hold on. Tend to and stuff. In high school, everybody cares about what everybody's doing. In college, nobody cares about what anybody's doing. People that do care, they're just bored, honestly. Or you popping, one or the other. Yeah, that's that that was my difference basically. It was more so in high school I was I didn't know myself and I was trying to fit in. And in college, I saw how everyone was different, so I wanted to find myself. I didn't know who I was, so I tried to be like everyone else. In college, I finally, for the first time, saw a million different people from different places. Everybody wasn't from the same city. And it was just like, whoa, I gotta find out who I am. Who is, who Who am I? Because all I know is Eddie, like Eddie. And it's so funny because a lot of people on YouTube, they're like, oh, we didn't know your name was Eddie. Well, yeah, that's my first name, but Jarell is my middle name. I've always liked my middle name more than my first name because I've always felt like my first name was just really straightforward, like, boom, Eddie. I found out who Jarell was when I came to college, honestly, and that's why that's the channel name. That's why that's my name on Instagram. And that's why I'm more so identified with Jarell now because He's somebody that I just had no idea who he was, and I tried to turn him off for so many years, and now he's here, honey. He's shining bright. Shine bright. Yes, that's what's happening. If you feel like you don't fit in, it's because you don't, and fitting in is probably the most boring slash worst thing you can do to yourself because no one will ever reach their epitome of greatness by being someone else. 
the shining bright star that you're supposed to be the, the one you were born to be. You can't do that being anybody else. Because you'll never be able to shine as bright as someone's genuine light. You, you, you're going to come off as dull because it's not going to be real. So with that, be you. Love yourself. I know high school is a hard time, especially if you are somebody who identifies in the LGBTQ community because the world is mean, people are mean. Even if you're somebody that just struggles with insecurities or bad grades or anything, family, living situation, just know, girl, when you graduate, oh my God, life, you will see so much. You will be like, for some reason, God, or whoever you pray to, whoever you look up to, whoever you bow down to, lay the fuck down to, whatever you want to do, you're going to be like, okay. I see what you're preparing me for. The world is crazy. I'm a crazy bitch. The world is a little bit crazier. But I'm a crazy bitch, though. So I got this, you know? So just try to try to remember that. Just know graduation is never far away. Oh, God. It, it'll be here before you know it. And just enjoy high school the best you can. If you don't have friends, go make friends. Go make friends at different high schools. Go make friends. Go get outside. That's the only thing I can say is... I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I have roommates. I haven't done a roommate video in a long time. Those are stupid. Um, I'm over this, so I'm gonna... I have another video to record, but I'm pissed off because they're just hollering and yelling and this shit is starting to get overwhelming and annoying, but I'm just gonna chill. Another part of being gay in college, my last disclaimer. You get to pick who... who you, you get to live at home. In college, when you're gay, you gotta live with boys. I'm sorry if you are like a more masculine gay guy. You're probably like, oh, all gay guys don't feel that. Listen, I'm me. All y'all, all y'all gay boys out here that relate to me right now in this situation, boys are stupid. Boys are dumb. Boys are dirty. You're not gonna like it. You're gonna hate it. And I'm sorry, but unless you live in like an apartment or whatever, you're probably, even if you live in a co-ed dorm, you'll, you won't actually be in the same room as a girl. So if you do have to share a room at all, like this room is mine, this suite isn't, this whole suite is not mine. So, it just fucking sucks. Like, it just fucking sucks. So, yeah. I will see you guys in my next video. Smooches. <laughs>